Hello guys, Sanjay here and as you can see I have the Redmi Note 3 over here with me and this Redmi Note 3 has Xiaomi's custom UI that is MIUI or MIUI uh, Are you bored with MIUI and you want some experience like stock UI like this because the stock UI is completely different as compared to MIUI where everything is customized like from settings menu to launcher everything is customized in MIUI and if you want stock AOSP experience on your Redmi Note 3 Snapdragon variant then this is the video to watch and guys in order to follow this method you will need to have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed and if you do not have TWRP recovery installed on your device then I'll give a guide link in the description box below uh, so just open up the description box below right now you will find all the necessary links in that description box and after you have installed TWRP recovery we just need to boot into that TWRP recovery so go into update our app go into options over here select reboot to recovery mode and select reboot now and till the time the device boots into the TWRP recovery I'll tell you guys that there are two zip files which you need to download first is the AOSP ROM zip file which will be linked in the description box below and the second is G apps package or Google apps package which are necessary if you want to have play store or Google play services working on your device so these two things are very very necessary and these two things will be linked in the description box below so as you can see we have booted into the TWRP recovery successfully so the first thing that you should do is go into backup and select swipe to backup and this will backup the complete ROM so later on if you want to come back to MIUI then you can simply restore this backup from the restore menu over here or the restore option and you will be back on MIUI so the backup has been done successfully now just go back go back once again select wipe over here and select swipe to factory reset this will wipe data cache and Dalvik cache so you do not need to wipe anything else separately once again go back go back select install now and select the AOSP ROM which we had downloaded earlier so this is the ROM for me select that select swipe to confirm flash and the AOSP ROM will be flashed on this device so the ROM installation is completed once again go back and select the gap zip file or G app zip file which you had downloaded earlier so select that select swipe to confirm flash and the G app zip file will be flashed so the G apps package is also installed so select reboot system over here and the device will boot into the AOSP ROM now so we have successfully booted into the ROM now and I'll just skip through the setup now so yes this is the ROM over here and let's go into settings now and if you go into about phone the Android version is 5.1.1 this is specifically made for Redmi Note 3 so everything is like optimized and that's why you can see the performance is pretty smooth no lags or something like that we go into dial application messaging application open up the play store and open up clock oh my god the ROM is really really smooth and file manager is also present and there are a few customization options present in the ROM also so if we go into buttons then you can customize the button action over here so in MIUI if we just uh, press the menu button once it shows recent app switcher so you can select that over here so short press action select that and select recent app switcher so whenever you place the menu button once it will show you this which is a good thing and wake up the device by pressing the volume button so if you press the volume button over here it will wake up the device like this and you can do anything you want that was it and if we go into status bar battery percentage so oh my god uh, I just dropped it this is one of my favorite features battery percentage on any ROM should be there it is present on MIUI so that's a good thing it is present over here also so when it go, when we go to battery and battery saver you can enable the battery saver mode which is the stock lollipop battery saver mode nothing fancy over here which saves pretty good amount of battery life so yeah this was pretty much it for the customization and schedule power on and off you can do this and this is pretty self explanatory and yes both the sim card slot works even the memory card slot works everything almost everything works except for the fingerprint scanner let's go open up the camera application over here snapdragon camera no thanks let's take a picture of this speaker oh my god the picture was pretty good so as you can see the picture quality is not bad at all like it's like I guess it's almost same as MIUI maybe I will have to test it out more and this is the front facing camera which looks kinda okay okay let's click a picture I'll just click a picture in good lighting so this is the picture that I clicked in good lighting still the picture is uh, okay I would say not as good as MIUI okay so front facing camera is not that great in my opinion 
and music application is also present but as this is lollipop rom you can download and install any music application that you want so guys with the latest update the rom has been fixed in many ways like there were few applications which were not necessary for the rom so those applications are removed the rom is pre-rooted yes the rom is pre-rooted so you do not need to flash any type of super su zip file now to root the rom and you can install exposed framework on this rom also which works completely fine without any issues and not only this but fingerprint sensor is also compatible with this rom so yes if you want fingerprint sensor to be working it is completely working fine on this rom so just go ahead and flash this rom if you are worried about that and i have tested this rom and there were no major bugs whatsoever that i found over here and it can be a daily driver like very very easily so yeah that's pretty much it for the update so yes this is pretty much it for the review and installation guide of the aosp rom for the redmi note 3 which is completely stable so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and if you want to see more videos on the redmi note 3 then don't forget to hit that subscribe button because yes many more videos on the redmi note 3 are already up on the channel and are going to come on the channel real soon so if you want to come to know about that don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button and let's see if we can reach triple five likes on this video so don't forget to hit that like button so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching